Hi, I'm Jen Beeston. Today I want to talk to you about something that you definitely should do with your credit. You should freeze it. I don't mean take your credit cards and put them in an ice block or anything like that. What I mean is you should freeze your credit. So let me explain this to you. Um, identity theft is rampant. People are constantly trying to steal all of your information so that they can open up credit in your name. It's a sad but honest truth of our society right now. It is what it is. So how do you fight it? How do you protect yourself? How do you protect your family? So a lot of people go, okay, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get credit monitoring service. Great, if that's what you wanna do, do it. The credit monitor service will alert you when someone tries to steal your identity and then you can fight it. Enjoy, and you'll pay a monthly fee for that service. Great. Well, I'm a little bit cheap when it comes to stuff like that and I don't really wanna deal with the drama of being notified and having to fight it. So when you freeze your credit, you're actually making it so that no one can run your credit. No one. And a lot of people go, oh, but then I can't use my credit cards. Yeah, you totally can use your credit cards. You can still use your credit cards. It's not gonna affect your mortgage. It's not gonna hurt your credit rating. It actually kind of helps it. So all it does is it makes it so no one can open up a new line of credit in your name. So if some creep gets your info and decides to go to Best Buy and buy a flat screen TV, good luck. He can't get credit in your name because your credit's frozen. So what you do is you go online to the bureaus. I'm gonna give you a link to a blog I did a while ago on LinkedIn about how to do this. And you freeze your credit. It's like 10, $15 depending on the state. And it will stay frozen until you unfreeze it. A lot of times people go, oh gosh, it must be so hard to unfreeze. It's not. When you set up your account to freeze it, they're gonna ask you for a pin. You're either gonna create one or you're gonna get one. And you save the pin. Just save it somewhere safe, somewhere safe. Just make a, a mental note that you need to save that pin. You're not gonna memorize it. Save it somewhere special, okay? And then when you need to unfreeze your credit, because maybe you wanna refinance, maybe you wanna buy a house, maybe you wanna buy a sweet new car, I don't know. Then you can unfreeze your credit. You just go online, type in the pin. You can pick how long you unfreeze it for. You can pick which creditors can run your credit. It's super cool because it puts the power of your credit in your hands. So a lot of people don't know about this. It's kind of a secret, which I think is so silly. It shouldn't be a secret. It's on all the websites, but it's hard to get to the links. You know, a lot of these places are selling credit monitoring service. And I mean, they can get $10 a month from you or $10 in a one-time fee. I mean, welcome to America. So I would strongly suggest you freeze your credit. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, please read the blog. It is written amazingly, if I say so myself. Um, thanks so much.